So good evening everyone. Um just down here with Liz. Uh, this is the night before the day of the video. Um I'm going at a job tomorrow and uh I just wanted to do this introduction now before, in case I didn't have time tomorrow. So out of a series of events, we had to change a machine that we bought last year. Um, I liked the machine a lot. I wouldn't have changed it if I had a choice, but just things happened. It had to be done. So the machine we changed was the fertilizer spreader. And we changed it out for an Amazon, as you can see. It's the same basic concept, PTO driven, ISO bus, um, the machine, very wet, very rich. Actually, I'm not sure if you can see, it's darker in here than I thought it was going to be. Um, it's a 3200 Profitronic, or Super Profitronic, um, at its ease it takes 3.5 ton, um, at its ease. Um, electric boundary spreader, um, very wet, all that. I like it a lot. There's side steps on it, and as you can see, there's the wheels. So I can actually hitch it up in about two minutes flat. Um, it's a very nice machine. Um, I've used it once. I was out with the lads last week setting it up. And I've got the basics. So tomorrow, we're going to have to do our own tray tests and setups and see where we go from there. It was supplied by Tom Shaw Machinery in uh, Burr County Offaly um, and uh, I have no complaints yet um, only just on a little bit of spreading we'll, uh, we'll see what happens okay now it's probably a bit close to my face but anyway so we're here today with a new spreader we're just doing well I call it a tray test I don't know what Amazon calls it um, we have all our uh, trays Laid out, we spread up the headland, sorry, Instagram, up the headland, and then back down along here. And you can see she's um, fairly well, uh, there's a good chunk of fertilizer in it. It's going out at uh, 494 uh, kilos to the hectare. So, yes. Okay, so here's the app now. So I'm going to click optimize. And we're using that one as a guide. Ooh. Go back, sorry. Optimization. Easy check, sorry. Okay, so the tractor, you can see the wheel tracks came down along here. Let's go take a picture. Confirm. Yes. Two. Confirm. Yes. Confirm. Instead of dragging you around for the whole thing, I'm just going to set you up to watch me take the pictures. Okay, so it's saying that it is very wrong. Very wrong. So I think I must have made a mistake in doing it. So I'm going to uh, grab my gloves here. And my measuring tape. And I'm gonna gather it all and do it out there. Or out there, I'll tell you if I will do it. Okay, so this is where we start. You can just kind of see down along here and down along here is my pre-emergence marker. It's the damn bird stealing my seed. But anyway, so what we'll do is I'm gonna take my measure tape here. We'll make a mat. The mat there. And then we hook that on like that. We bring ourselves out 12 meters. 
six meters. Eleven. You see, ninety twelve. Okay, so then what we do is we push mats out every four meters, and that. So we we'll grab three mats like this. Three meters. That's what the meter. There we go. So here's the four meter one. So you see, four meter. Oh, sorry. Four meter. Bring ourselves along then. Eight meter, which is here. Put that down like that. And then we put our 12 meters there. I'm going to trip it under the arm like this. Now then what we do is put them about a meter apart then after that. And then we just drop mats parallel to the uh, bottom row at about a meter spacing. Go over here and gather the rest of my mats. Put them down. You see, and then one goes there, one goes there, and then one goes there. But these lads are a little off, so I'm just gonna put them back there. So you see, they're following that mark and that uh whatever row spacing so now now what we have to do is go and get my tractor and spreader and we'll spread the boundary field but one thing i have to make sure i do is that i come down here that i keep my trade on my right hand side uh, and one thing i should probably say for legal reasons is that uh it's only my second day using this spreader i should not my word should not be taken but anyway talk to you in a minute okay so we're just driving along here now and doing our headland lap with the gps you can just see it there i love this thing it's like a bloody uh space age joke you just kind of once you give it a bit of a uh, motion it will come back out again but we'll do a talk through that later um we're just doing a headland you can see here um this lad means that the boundary spreader is engaged so it's not really going into a ditch This one feels a lot wider than the other one. I couldn't swear to it, but it just feels it. Um, but it's got lights and indicators and all that in the front, so it's not too bad. So there's a bit of a wet patch just up here. Now we subsoiled and then ploughed and then sowed. This is actually the, uh, the field we sowed. Um, yeah, first the spring barley. Uh, put this down. That's just telling me I'm going too fast. Um, so uh, we didn't get, as I said, I didn't get the pre-emergence on. 
that time. But I came back, or I'm back here now doing it. Uh, it was just a complication that delayed it. Anyway, so we have our, our first lap done, like so. And I wouldn't recommend it, but I'm going to reverse back because right there is my next turn line. And I'm just going to step out like this and into it, and the second control will do the rest. Trust me when I tell you, spraying this field isn't fun. You see the... Yeah. The yore is sitting near enough to normal level and the tractor is well not. So we're uh, dipping down along here. The reason I'm holding on so long is I want to show you a driving over trays. And um, we'll be tearing back up a minute. We're coming up over them here now. You can just see them all there laid out in the ground. We're going to stop here now. Let the rev off. And we'll take my phone. And we'll go take our pictures. So first impressions of the machine are very good. There are a few parts of it that I like better than the Trimble or the interface I like better than on the Trimble. Um, such as when I go on to GPS mode, I still have full control of the spreader. Whereas on the Trimble, I had to leave the GPS or the yeah, GPS screen to access the fertilizer screen. Um, so I like that a lot. Um, a few other bits and pieces that we'll discuss in time together. Um, I done my tray tests in spring, bar, freshly sown spring barley ground, as I mentioned earlier, and now I came back to do the winter oats. Um, the winter oats hadn't been done up to this stage because we buy all our fertilizer in bulk, as I mentioned in the last video, and I was waiting on a load to arrive. So the load arrived, so I was doing all my long distance um, first, and then I was coming back to do my 
closer to the yard and the winter oats were closer to the yard uh, than that particular field of spring barley. So um, hopefully we'll have more videos on the Amazon and more of an in-depth view and talk through. But um, let's wait and see how it goes.